Hi guys, Necri here. I'm back. This is episode 2 of Kingdoms of Amalor Reckoning Demo Play 3. Oh god, that's fantastic. Um, I stopped for a moment to go get something to eat because I don't know what my problem is. Whenever I, uh, I oh shoes. Whenever I go a while without eating, which I have not eaten, I have not eaten until, um, into, I've, I've not eaten until, <sighs> I've not eaten since, um, like three o'clock this morning and it's three o'clock so i have not eaten for 12 hours i don't know why i did not take the time out of my gaming day to go eat something because i'm so smart and i definitely care about living <laughs> i'm sorry um but yeah i do have some stuff here with me i have the tree i have tree of the tootsie roll i have the uh the cheddar and the sour cream the ch uh what the hell chip and I have the chisel. Very but a lot of cheesy stuff. A lot of, a lot of good stuff. So if you if you see me stop for about a second or two, maybe even three or four, and you hear me munching something and my talking's impaired, that's because me eating. Most sorry for the inconvenience if you didn't understand me, but I will. Deal with your big bosses. What have we got? There we go. I'm a full-out mage. Hmm. One moment. Okay. Yeah, don't give a shit about looking around my surroundings. Can I run on this? I can't. Shit. More story. I'm fascinated. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow. Yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure. I should proceed. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the two of them. Oh, shit, Mom. Crazy boss with the fucking dagger. He's amazing. Of course. Alright, let's go. Where are we going? Movie, son of a bitch. I think we're going this way. Excuse me, door. You fucking boss move out the way. Now I have to speak like this for a while, man. 
can do the British accent no more. I'm going to have to kill a troll in a minute, I think. I thinks me. You son of a bitch. Yeah, you shithead. The arrows done through. Look. I don't know why I keep shouting out people, but I guess it's just because I like to. Some of you guys should really, really check out before here before I tell this boss to tell you about it. I'll say about the boss first, okay? So, it's a troll, I believe, and he does a bunch of, like, heavy attacks, but, of course, being big, he's slow. Uh, you'll see the fight in a minute. Something you guys should really check out before we start this, um... Go over to, um... YouTube.com slash user slash Polaris. Um, here, I'll talk in my normal accent so you can... My, my normal voice, so you can tell him saying it's Polaris. P-O-L-A-R-I-S. Um... Watch her videos, she's awesome. Dodger, if you haven't heard of her, she does like weekly, maybe even daily, I'm not sure, like two or three times a, day, a week. Um, gaming recaps, or like recaps of like things that are going on in like the gaming community and stuff, it's really, really cool. And they're also doing um, her, Husky, um, Rosanna, some, I forgot her last name, and um, Jesse Cox are, and are all doing... Um, a series that they wanted to do for a while. Actually, it's just Huskies one for a while. And, um, Ro and, uh, Dodger, they've all wanted to do this for a really long time. They say, like, a year and a half they've been planning for it. You guys should really go check them out. The, the series is hilarious. It's, um, it is rated PG-13, so if you can't watch anything past PG, then that's, that's okay. It's nothing very... If you are under the age of 10, you will not find it very funny because it's a lot of adult humor, which is fantastic. I might be old, but 13, so I get most of it. I'm most 14. Um, Shade watches it too. Well, if he doesn't now, he will. <laughs> because it is hilarious. I love it. Um, but yeah, guys, I will probably leave a link in the description. The, 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 the description? I'll leave, um, I'm waiting for my health to regen, so I'm just thinking of something to talk about. I will definitely leave, um,. A link if I can get one before uploading the video I'll probably try to copy and paste one because I upload it straight from my camera and I don't I don't know why I keep doing a British accent I do it so much that I'm, I'm it's like becoming a part of me and I just like talk like that normally when I record but uh yeah I'm gonna try my hardest to uh get you all this links and stuff so you can watch it it's very funny they did do a four-hour live stream that I watched today releasing it I thought it was kind of dumb I didn't really I had no idea what it was, but then when I heard them talking about it, it sounds exactly like my kind of thing. It's very nerdy. It's like a fantasy-based um, storyline. And well, they're in a fantasy world, and it's a, uh, a fantasy storyline. Um, basically, uh, Husky plays um, uh, a human warrior character who's only level four, and he thinks like he's big badass, but he sucks. Um, Dodger plays a a were lizard as she calls it, which, <laughs> um, which is like, and she's a sorcerer, that's what she she calls it, she, no wizard, no mage, a sorcerer, because apparently sorcerer is being born with gifts, compared, compared to learning them as you grow up, so, that's what she says, those are in her words, um, and Jesse Cox is in it too, he's so freaking funny, um, he plays a, uh, a goat slug, <laughs> that's my favorite part, um, and he also, uh, he plays, um, like a squire for, um, Sid, which is another character in the, in the, um, in the series. They only have released two episodes today. That's what, that's what they did today. They released two episodes. Only two, but there are 13 in the first season. They're, they said they're going to do multiple seasons, maybe up to three or four, maybe even five. I don't know. But, um, I hope they do a bunch. They do a video every Thursday on it. But Polaris, she does, I, today she did, like, six, five videos, so, well, that was including the two, um, Sparking Quest episodes, so let's get it started, I know you guys would just hear me blabber on over and over. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot. You can dodge. Move, you dumb son of a bitch. I don't know how I can't dodge that, but okay. I have 10 healing potions, so... So I guess this arrow, my arrows, are trying against the troll. MLD, MLD, MLG dodging skills. Oh shit, maybe not. Oh, that was, that was stupid. for the last kill. Oh, I killed him. All right. Fantastic. Oh. It's actually a kill. Bring and sexy back. Yeah. All the fuckers don't know how to act. Yeah. Hey, Corey. Five percent health, simple band of copper, and booed with magic. Fan, fucking tastic. All right, get some health. I'm gonna go this way. All right. I don't know if it continues. This might be it. Excuse me. Okay, here we go. So you get to pick. Oh, I guess this is like blacksmithing and stuff. Um, milestone. You can salvage rare equipment. You can use gem components, crafting equipment. Uh, let's get yeah let's get that and then here is when you get to pick your class basically so hold on mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so basically there's sorcery I guess finesse and might finesse obviously would be more of like the archer rogue kind of thing might would be more of like the warrior kind of two-handers and two-handers or shield. And I guess sorcery would be more magecraft kind of thing. So I think I want to do staff mastery. You've learned to channel incredible amounts of energy through your staff, increase the damage output considerably. So you get um, you get three points available so we could we could put okay next level six physical damage with staffs and five extra percent damage with staffs okay so we get eight percent or eight damage extra and then 15 percent physical so i guess we'll do that since we are a mage gertrude <laughs> you can more consumables 
Minor Serpent's Venom, plus Poison Damage. Take that. Total Armor, Venom Guard. Can we have them all on the same time? I hope we can. Oh, yeah, we come. I think they last for like 30 seconds. Let's get it. I thought it'd be like, wow, where they last for like, like, an hour. Come here, you fat son of a bitch. Oh, there's poison damage. Okay. Give me harp assist. Yeah. Whatever the hell that is. Oh, no reagent is found. God damn it. You bastard. I hit him. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you could help an old fate weaver, eh? Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Trust me, I've known that for a long time. Nobody can change fate. Excuse me. Poor old Fomorous Hughes. He respected the way the world works. It's a shame. He'll be dead by now. Cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly, although we did a lot of drinking after that. I suppose I could spare a little help in memory of Hughes, or in celebration of his success. Whichever. Mmm, there we go. I was gonna be like, holy shit, you're amazing. What? How? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed Jesus. how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? Hmm. You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. What? I promise not to tell you if I see your death. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes. 
other people write poetry. I peered into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan. Unlike most... Sorry about all the crackling. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... I am. But still, I've never seen someone whose fate was just missing. Not even when I was drunk as the king of ballads. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. Fantastic. So, you get to unlock four destinies here, I believe. Which I guess they all give you extra attributes in your own class too. So, we can go for fate this one, which I am right now. Which is when you first start out, but then you get to pick your own. So, as you can see, there's Brawler. I'm going to fake this one. You get nothing. No bonus. Fake this one to your one, you get one might. 15% extra melee attack damage and 10% block efficiency. Acolyte, you get extra elemental damage and mana cost reduction. And Rogue, you get range attack damage. Damage resistance or dodging and piercing damage. So obviously one acolyte. It could mean nothing. Or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. But that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolden. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? Okay, so I guess this is basically the end of the demo. You do have an extra 45 minutes to go do whatever the hell you want, but that's basically up to you guys. So I'm not going to spoil any of it. I'm going to let you guys play it for yourself. Um, I would definitely want to play more, but um, I've based I've beat the entire storyline for this whole thing, so I know everything that's going to happen. Um, but of course, there's obviously different ways you can do it. You can grow with different classes. You can pick different. Objectives, I think there are s several or dozens actually of scenarios where you get to pick two different choices. And if you pick, like, there's tons of different orders you can do it. So you can play the campaign 20 times and never do the same thing. Um, always have a different outcome. Like, the simplest thing can change your outcome by killing a person, taking longer to kill someone, killing them quicker. It, it doesn't matter. There's, there's so many different ways you can end out with a different outcome. So I definitely recommend you guys get this game. It's so fun. I rate it a 5 out of 5, I'm not doing like stars or whatever, so it's going to give a 5 star. Um, yeah. Let's do something more necrotic, let's do skulls. Let's get a 5 skulls out of 5. Um, um, we will be coming out with Yolcraft soon, I just need to find time to do it. Um, I'll probably put a video out quite soon, you guys can look forward to that. Um, if there's any other games you want me to play, Feel free to comment in the comment section below. Um, I know the description, you know, you know it is. You guys are smart enough, I hope. <laughs> um, as always, for this very short series, click that like button, the subscribe, leave a comment of whatever you want, however you're doing. To confuse people, go ahead and comment chicken butt. Um, or bubble butt, whatever you want. Sing the bubble butt song, leave a link to the bubble butt song in the comments, I don't care. Um, 
tell Shade to put some videos up to you. Jeez, man, he's gonna put some up on a wall. I can't really say shit, because, I mean, I just put up four last night in a row, but he had a six video marathon, but he hasn't put one up for a week, so I'm like, come on, man. I didn't upload. I was on hiatus for a month. That's a bit much. Um, but yeah, I'm back now. I'm very in the swing of things. I love recording. It's it's my passion now. I just, I've gotten back into it, especially with PlayStation games. I never really figured out a way, but I put it, put my camera on a box. It's perfectly placed so you can see the entire screen and nothing else. You can't see any of the stupid cords behind the TV. It's fantastic. So, I'm going to stop the video before it gets too damn long. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Stekri signing out. Remember to like, comment, sub, favourite, whatever the fuck you want to do. Share it to your friend. Do that. Voice crack. That was fantastic. Yeah, share it to your friend. Do whatever the hell you want. Um, you guys are awesome. I'll see you guys later. Bye.